Welcome to High School Physics Explained, where I uh, go through uh, various physics concepts. And uh, this is a, another one in my series of visiting HSC questions uh, from past papers. And in this case, I will be looking at the 2015 HSC paper, question 28. So this particular question has to do with Faraday's law and Lenz's law. And in question 28, what we have is, is we have a trolley here with a copper plate that moves under a strong magnet and uh, obviously uh, meets at certain positions A, B, C and D. And you are supposed to determine, first of all, what happens to the velocity as the trolley arrives at A, B, C and D. And then more importantly also is justify the reasoning of your graph. So clearly we've got two velocities we have to consider ourselves, assuming that there is actually no uh, frictional forces across here. We assume that we are going to have a final velocity at the other end, and that final velocity will be some sort of value. And let's make that final velocity around here, like so. So the question is, is what happens to the graph as it goes from there to there? So let's have a look at that. So what we're going to ask ourselves first and foremost is what happens as the trolley starts to approach B. Now, if I were to go to B initially, you would understand that what we have here is we have the production of eddy currents. And those eddy currents will always be produced in such a way that they produce a polarity that opposes the motion. So we're going to assume that it starts to slow down. And that's simply because of Lenz's law. And so we have electromagnetic induction, the eddy currents, it's Faraday's law. So there's the explanation. We have Lenz's law, which therefore causes a slowing effect. And so we expect the velocity to start to decrease. But it doesn't start when the trolley gets to B. It happens before it gets to B. Even as the trolley approaches B on this side, it's starting to go to happen over here. So if I were to actually mark a position where the velocity starts to drop, it'll be before B over here. Now, if the trolley continues to go through and meets us at C, you can understand that even at C, again, it'll oppose the motion. And it'll, in this case, um, it'll produce an attractive force here because the motion is going in this direction. Therefore, an attractive force will slow it down even more. You'll notice that basically it'll be at C, it'll be still happening, but it'll still be happening when it gets beyond C. So I think it is fair to say that the time it actually stops doing that may be well and truly beyond C over here. So really, we have a starting point and a finishing point of the changing velocity being before B and after C. Again, the explanation, justification, is that it already experiences a magnetic uh, 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 flux uh, change um, before it even gets to be. It is still experiencing some uh, change in magnetic flux and therefore eddy currents and therefore Lenz's law is applied after it gets to C. So I'm just justifying why I've chosen those two points. But what about in between? Well, of course, as it goes in and it starts to slow down, and because it starts to slow down, the change in flux is not constant. So it's not a straight line across here, because as it starts to slow down, the change in flux slows down. So the amount of change in velocity is actually not as much. So what we get is not a straight line, but we actually get a curve because of the change in flux changes. So you're going to get a curve like this. So you really have three justifications going on here. Okay, clearly we have um, it, the Faraday's law. That's really important, right? Um, that and the act that, that we get eddy that leads to eddy currents. Secondly, we have Lenz's law, which suggests therefore you're going to get an opposition and therefore a slowing effect. But thirdly, you need to justify that as the cart slows, therefore the change in flux decreases, and therefore, by consequence, the EMF generated will also decrease, and therefore justifying why this 
change of velocity is less because it is experiencing less electro. Uh, you're basically getting a, a less of an effect. Now, I hope that makes this question clear for you. Um, uh, and uh, I hope uh, you have an opportunity to um, subscribe to my channel to get to access more of my videos. And please um, share, the, share the word if you're studying HSC or studying physics anywhere in the world and you find my videos useful, uh, please share and hopefully um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.